T minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition, lift off. Go silent to the Falcon Space Force Ignardo launch. Vehicle pitching down range. We are T plus 45 oh, seconds normal. into liftoff, and we have just had liftoff of our Falcon 9 vehicle carrying our Starlink payload. You can see that light on the left. Stage, Stage one, Stage two is its under way. terminal guidance. Stage one, landing light right. deploy. And yes! <laughs> We have another landing. This is the fourth landing of this vehicle and the 48th Falcon 9 first stage landing today. There we go. That's all 60 of those Starlink satellites on their merry way. It's a beautiful sight. À tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Match du Vulcain. Allumage, EAP et décollage. And 
We are off. Marion 5 is blazing a trail across the equatorial skies. And there we see her. She's come out from the other side of the clouds, powering her way into space, heading east out over the Atlantic Ocean. We've broken the sound barrier, Mach 1. We're traveling faster than the speed of sound. And we can just hear the sound of Ariane now coming to us here at the Jupiter Control Center overhead. Thundering. Overhead. My 15 seconds. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition, lift off, simplify, aim high, go Falcon, go Dragon. Vehicle is touching down range. T plus 30 seconds, Falcon 9 with the Crew Dragon capsule is heading east from pad 39A. Everything looking good right now. As we get ready for max dynamic pressure, stage we are now throttling down. down the first stage engines on Falcon, Falcon power 9. telemetry nominal. Everything continues to look good. We're approaching the period of maximum dynamic pressure. Vehicle is supersonic and passing through maximum dynamic pressure. You've heard we're supersonic, we're through max Q. We're getting ready now to throttle the engines back up on the first stage. Stage one, throttle up. There's the call out. Okay, the major activity coming up in just over 10 seconds. Shut down and drag an escape from the Falcon 9. Miko, Dragon Launch Escape initiated. Dragon's away. And you can hear some really loud uh, cheering in the room. Okay, you just saw a bright flash there. It looks like Falcon that may be Falcon 9 breaking up. T minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition, lift off. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Stage one propulsion is normal. It is T plus 45 seconds, and we've just had a nominal liftoff of our Falcon 9 vehicle carrying our Starlink payload on its way to its targeted orbit. In just about 20 seconds coming up here, we will be passing through max Q. Falcon 9 is supersonic. That is the maximum aerodynamic pressure that the vehicle will see, which is the largest structural load that the vehicle sees throughout ascent. Vehicle is experiencing maximum aerodynamic pressure. And we've just heard that call out from Max Q. Coming up next in about a minute will be three events back to back, starting off with MECO or main engine cutoff, followed immediately by stage separation. And this is where the first stage separates from the second stage. And then followed by SES 1, which is second engine startup. And back engine chill. But we do have the drone. Stage one line and deploy. Stage two is in terminal guidance. 
All right, and yes. Awesome, that's the third landing of this booster. Second time landing on, of course, I Still Love You. Captain line has landed, operators. It should be coming up, there we go. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's that 60 Starlink satellite successfully separating from stage two, and that beautiful planet there is the planet that those satellites are gonna provide internet service to, which is super, super exciting. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, ignition, three, two, one. And we're off the pad. We are T plus 35 seconds into flight for the 11th Electron mission. In approximately 30 seconds, the rocket will reach the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure on its way to space. So let's listen in for the call from Mission Control. High voltage battery discharge nominal. Electron is supersonic. Status check for booster Centaur and spacecraft. Everything is go. And so here we go. T minus 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And liftoff. 
of our solar orbit and international collaboration to give us new images and a better understanding of our life-giving star. Control voice and Patrick Moore, ULA's launch commentator. Now 25 seconds in the flight. Chamber pressure on the SRV looks good. It's not bringing parameters on the Earth 180 also look good. Good report so far. Atlas 5 beginning to pitch over. 35 seconds in. Vehicle is completing the pitch over maneuver. Now 41 seconds into flight. 45 seconds into flight. Everything is looking good. That the RD-180 engine was operational. RD-180 throttling. throttling down slightly as expected, and engine response looks good. I'm going to pull those engines down for just a little bit as we anticipate max Q. plus 47 seconds and we have just had liftoff of our Falcon 9 vehicle taking our Starlink payload to its targeted orbit. In about 15 seconds or so we will be passing through max Q. Max Q is the maximum aerodynamic pressure that the vehicle will see throughout its Falcon ascent. Falcon supersonic. You should hear that call out in about five seconds or so. Falcon 9 is experiencing maximum aerodynamic pressure. And there's that call out from Max Q. À tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage moteur Vulcan. Allumage EAP et décollage VA252. Propulsion nominale. Well, 
Tous les paramètres bord sont normaux. T-minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition, lift off. Happy the end, Dragon 1. Vehicle is pushing down range. Power and telemetry nominal. At T plus 45 seconds, Falcon 9 has cleared the towers, and the final Dragon 1 flight is underway. Everything looking nominal Falcon for Falcon 9 is one. supersonic. We heard the call out that the vehicle is supersonic. Stage one, landing leg deploy.
T-minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. It's T plus 40 seconds, and we've just had liftoff of our Falcon 9 vehicle, taking Power our Starlink payload nominal. to its targeted deployment orbit. We are now throttling down and throttling back up in preparation for Max-Q, which is coming up here in about 10 seconds or so. Max-Q is the maximum aerodynamic pressure that the vehicle sees throughout ascent, Talking so this is the largest solid. structural load that the vehicle will see. Should hear that call out in about five seconds. Maximum aerodynamic pressure. So we did get confirmation of deployment. And there is that live view. So you can see on your screen, the satellites are slowly separating, separating away from the second stage. And over the next few weeks, they will distance themselves from each other and eventually use their onboard ion thrusters to make their way to their final orbit. Minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. We have ignition and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket with AEHF 6 on the first mission for the United States Space Force. Beginning the pitch over program. Passing 15 seconds for the flight. TU has gone to close the control. Yardy 180 is throttling down to 67 percent thrust as expected. Engine response looks good. Passing 30 seconds into flight. 35 seconds into flight. Mach 1 Atlas 5 is now supersonic. Engine operating parameters look nominal. 
Passing 45 seconds into flight, passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. The RD-180 is throttling back up to 94% as expected. Engine response looks good. Coming up on one minute into flight, SRB chamber pressures remain nominal at this time. The vehicle is uh, 10 miles in altitude, uh, 6 miles downrange, traveling at 2,300 miles per hour. Seventy-five seconds into flight, the RD-180 is throttling to 75% thrust as expected, standing by, standing by for SRB sh burnout shortly. We're going to see the boosters at the bottom light up, and as their thrust builds, it'll eventually overcome. Deleted. Made one. And lift off. Cassidy, Evanishan, and Wagner on their way to the International Space Station. seconds into the flight. All parameters are nominal. We confirm on board, all parameters are nominal. 20 seconds into launch. Our thrusters are working nominally. The crew is feeling fine. 30 seconds. All parameters for the vehicle are nominal. The crew is feeling fine. 40 seconds into flight. Thrusters are working nominally and the vehicle is nominal. Getting good continuous calls from the crew and the ground, everything with the vehicle looking nominal. The first stage powering the Soyuz upward, delivering 930,000 pounds of thrust from the four strap on boosters and that single core engine. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Lift off. Okay, not switching gun range. Stage one propulsion is nominal. As you can see, Falcon 9 has had a successful liftoff from Pad 39A. Moments ago, we throttled the engines down and we'll throttle back up just in a second for preparation for Max Q. Max Q stands for Maximum Aerodynamic Pressure, which are the highest stresses that the vehicle will see during ascent. Maximum Aerodynamic Pressure.
Minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There's ignition and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket with USSF-7 for the United States Space Force on a mission dedicated to America Strong. Good. Party 180 has gone to closed loop propellant utilization control. You are hearing the voice of Rob Kesselman providing the launch vehicle ascent data. The pitch yaw roll program. Vehicle body rates look good. Now, 35 seconds into flight. Atlas is now just under one mile in altitude. Traveling at 900 miles per hour. Engine pump speeds and injector pressures are in family for this thrust level. The vehicle has now completed the pitch yaw roll program. We have engine start. And we have liftoff. A rising sun over the land of the rising sun as Jax's HTB rocket and the HTB 9 cargo craft take flight. Roll pitch and yaw program in effect. The H2B rocket uh, takes flight to the International Space Station. Liftoff occurring right on the dot at 12.31 p.m. even Central Time, 2.31 a.m. Japan Time. 44 seconds into the flight. Just passing one minute into the flight, everything continuing to look good. Four solid rocket boosters, two liquid fuel engines propelling uh, the HTB-9 towards its preliminary orbit, coming up on the 1 minute 30 second mark into the flight.
烟，烟火。Seconds into flight, stage one propulsion is nominal. T plus 30 seconds into this historic mission. Flying crew on board Dragon and Falcon 9, and look at them go. Falcon power telemetry nominal. M1D throttle down. We're throttling down to get ready for the period of maximum dynamic pressure. We're in the throttle bucket. Reports say all systems are go. Vehicle is supersonic. We've exceeded Mach 1 on the Falcon 9. M1D throttle up. We're throttling Max back up to full power as we're one through Max Q. Copy, one Bravo. T plus 40 seconds into flight and Falcon 9 has successfully lifted Power off from number. pad 40 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, carrying our Starlink payload to its targeted drop off orbit. Moments ago, we did throttle down our engines in preparation for max Q. And that is the maximum aerodynamic pressure, which is the largest structural sonic. load that the vehicle will see. That's coming up here in a few seconds. Max Q. And there's that call out that we have just passed through Max Q.
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Big skip back. Stage one propulsions nominal. Supersonic. Well, after a brief hiatus, Electron is back in the skies, heading to orbit. At T plus 35 seconds into flight, we're coming up to one of the first milestones of any mission to space, passing max Q. This is the point at which Electron will experience the highest Speed amount of aerodynamic force on its way to orbit. Let's listen into the call from Mission Control. Flight. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, zero. Ignition, lift off of Falcon 9 and Starlink Ocho. Plus 40 seconds into flight, and Falcon 9 has just had a successful liftoff. A successful liftoff from Pad 40 for its first Starlink rideshare, carrying three Planet SkySats and our SpaceX Starlink satellites. Next coming up will be Max Q, and that is the maximum aerodynamic pressure that the vehicle sees, the the largest structural load that the vehicle sees throughout ascent. Max Q. Tongue 三幺幺二雷达跟踪正常二幺零二幺零到开始事后消防二零零八三零六雷达跟踪正常西昌光学雷达跟踪正常遥测信号正常西昌飞行正常10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. Lift off. Go Falcon, go GPS.
plus 40 seconds. We've heard call outs. And now we're entering the throttle Power bucket. We're powering down the Merlin engines to relieve the acceleration as we get ready for the period of maximum dynamic pressure. We're in the throttle bucket. Now we're beginning to power back up. We hear the call out exiting throttle bucket. The nine Merlin 1D engine is going one. back to full power. And we are now supersonic. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Propulsion is nominal. This charge is nominal. We're at T plus 45 seconds into flight, and we've had a successful liftoff from Pad A at Launch Complex 1. Next up will be Max Q, which is the point when the rocket is under the maximum amount of aerodynamic stress during its ascent. Vehicle supersonic, approaching max Q.
minus five, four, three, two, one, ignition. Liftoff of the Northrop Grumman Minotaur rocket carrying four L-129 spacecraft to orbit for the National Reconnaissance Office, marking 20 years of Minotaur launches and 14 years of partnership with NASA with Wallops Flight Facility and the Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport. Vehicle attitude and flight path are nominal. Pitch over complete. Two, check step 92, 93, 94, Vehicle 95. Vehicle power is nominal. Passing Mach 2, motor pressure nominal. T plus 36 seconds, entering max Q, attitude nominal. Passing Mach 3 at maximum stage 1 thrust of over 5,000 pounds. Passing Mach 4, vehicle's half original mass. Cooling off. Stage 2 ignition, stage 2 motor pressure is nominal. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Lift off. M1D propulsion is nominal. Plus 40 seconds, everything looking good? That's the call out, says M1D engines are throttling down, getting ready to reduce vehicle acceleration in preparation for the period of maximum dynamic pressure. We're in the bottom of the throttle bucket as they call it. Now the Merlin engines coming back up to full power as we get ready to go supersonic. Vehicle is supersonic. Supersonic, we're coming through the period of maximum dynamic pressure. Well, has reached maximum aerodynamic pressure.
благотворительная. Промежуточная. Главное, подъем. Прошел контакт подъема. Двигатели в центре на данный выбор боковых блоков ракеты на сильный. Вышли на режим главной ступени пяти. Параметры системы управления ракеты на сильный в норме. Двигатели первой и второй ступени работают нормально. Параметры конструкции ракеты на сильный в норме. Стабилизация изделия устойчивая. Давление в камерах двигателей в норме. Eight, seven, six. Five, Five, four, engine ignition, two, one, zero. Relay and liftoff. As the countdown to Mars continues, the perseverance of humanity launching the next generation of robotic explorers to the red planet. And Atlas TU has gone to closed loop control. Coming up on 30 seconds into flight, the RD-180 is throttling down as expected. Engine response looks good. And Mach 1, Atlas V is now supersonic. And passing 45 seconds into flight, vehicle is now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. Passing one minute into flight, the RD-180 is throttling back up as expected. Engine response looks good. At this time in flight, the SRB chamber pressures remain nominal. The RD-180 pump speed and fuel injector pressures are responding well to demands on the engine. Standing by for SRB burnout shortly. And we have burnout on all four SRBs. Burnout pressure signatures look good. Standing by for SRB jettison shortly. Nine, eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. And lift off. When the propulsion is nominal. T plus forty seconds since the launch of Falcon Nine. Propulsion is confirmed. Merlin's lift nominal. Power and telemetry are confirmed nominal from the avionics engineer. We're throttling down right now on the Merlin 1D engines. Preparing for supersonic and max Q. Knock one. Six, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. La propulsion est nominale. And we are off. Galaxy 30, Mission Extension Vehicle 2 and BSAT 4B have started their journey. He's telling us that the trajectory is normal. And we've broken the sound barrier, Damien. Exactly. We are now traveling faster than the speed of sound, which is equal roughly to 1,200 km per hour. And the speed will continue to increase in the coming seconds. And look at that, Ariane 5 is blazing a trail across the night skies at the Guiana Space Center. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, ignition, and lift off to the top of 9, go Starlink. Lift off of Falcon 9 Power from Space novel. Launch Complex 40 for this 11th Starlink mission. The three planet Skysats and our 58 Starlink satellites are on their way to space. In about 10 seconds, we will be approaching Max Q. Merlin engines Vehicle are now throttling supersonic. down as they anticipate the moment of greatest aerodynamic pressure. Thanks, Q. All right, we just went.
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. And liftoff of Falcon's first East Coast Polar Launch, Ola, Argentina. We're now 40 seconds in the flight. Falcon 9 has taken off. It's cleared the tower, and we're currently throttling down to prepare for maximum Q. Uh, that's the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure. It's at 1 minute 12 seconds. Vehicle is supersonic. Vehicle has reached maximum aerodynamic pressure. You've heard it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lift off. Stage one propulsion is nominal. As you can see on your screen, we've had a successful liftoff of our 14th Electron launch from Pad A at Launch Complex 1. One of the first launch milestones we'll come up against is max Q, or maximum aerodynamic pressure. What this basically means is this will be the point where Electron will undergo the maximum mechanical stress during launch. Pass through max Q. Drink shape front two. This, no. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, stop. Allumage fait quatre heures. Alexandre, you've been working on these mega launches for years. Yes. <laughs> How does it feel? Your 15th? Very exciting and, and, and moving at the same time. Uh -huh. right, so really, it's a big area. Because apart from the first one, you have always been there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, from the from the second flight. Mm -hmm. So uh, you can you can admire uh, the liftoff on the launch acceleration at the end of the first stage of PAT with an average thrust of two, 230 tons for a launch total mass grossly twice less. This is what gives Vegas this particular feeling of acceleration. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition and lift off. Switching down range. M1D performance is nominal.
successful liftoff for Falcon 9 from pad 39A power and telemetry, nominal. at Kennedy Space Center. There we just heard that power and telemetry is nominal. Moments ago, we began to throttle the nine Merlin engines that you Not see. One. They're propelling the first stage through the atmosphere. We began to throttle them down in preparation for Max Q. Also known as the Max Q. All right, there we are. The call out. The vehicle just went through the moment in which it experiences the greatest aerodynamic pressure. Stage one, landing burn start up. All right, we heard the call out that the landing burn for stage one has begun. This will last about 20 seconds. Stage two FTS is saved. Stage one, landing leg deploy. All right, visual confirmation Stage there. Landing firm. That this booster has landed for a second time. There we see a live shot from our drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. Of course, I still love you. was good.
five, four, three, two, one. Do we have engine ignition? Engine start and liftoff. The SS Kalpnachavla takes flight, sights set on the International Space Station. Pitch and roll program are in. Feet. One minute into the flight, everything looking good on Antares. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition, lift off. Stage one propulsion is nominal. T plus 40 seconds, Falcon 9 successfully lifting off from launch pad 39A at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Uh, we're taking that Starlink orbit to its first, Starlink satellites to its first targeted orbit and eventually a circular orbit. We actually just throttled down for maximum dynamic pressure, or max Q, on those nine Merlin engines. We'll expect to hear that call out here shortly. Vehicle supersonic. Terminal guidance. Stage one, landing leg deploy. Looks like right in the center. That marks 61 successful recoveries. Third time for this booster. shot from our drone on her way to space lunar landing tech on board payloads inside you can see at the top right of your screen there new shepherds gaining speed that be3 engine is really doing its work what a clean burn first milestone here is max q There we go. All right, come on, New Shepard, let's go. Wow. Look at that stability. So stable. Touch. Oh my God. Down, New Shepard. Here we go. I, I love watching.
All right, there and touchdown of the capsule. Oh. All right. She made it back. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And lift off. Kate Rubin, Sergei Ryshikov, and Sergei Kuzverchkov now on their way to the International Space Station, the latest in a chain that spans almost 20 years of continuous human presence in space. Ten seconds. The parameters of the rocket are nominal. Twenty seconds. The thrusters of the first and second stage are operating nominally. Hearing first good reports of a good first stage performance, everything looking nominal. So he's currently delivering 930,000 pounds of thrust from its four boosters and single engine of that first stage. It measures 68 feet in length and 24 feet in diameter and burns liquid fuel for the first two minutes and six seconds of flight. 50 seconds. The pressure in the chambers is nominal. Everything is good on board. We feel well. Good reports from the crew as well. Everything looking good for today's flight. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. And lift off. Vehicles pitching down range. Stage one chamber pressures are nominal. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center, carrying our Starlink payload to its targeted drop-off orbit. Uh, moments ago, we've begun to throttle down our engines on the first stage in preparation for Max-Q. Uh, Max-Q is where the vehicle will experience the vehicle highest amount something. of aerodynamic pressure. And there's a few of our drone ship. And right down the middle, Falcon 9 has landed. Uh, this particular booster has landed for the sixth time. This marks our 62nd successful recovery of a Falcon 9 first stage. And the 32nd time we've landed on this particular drone ship, uh, of course, I still love you. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Zero. Mission. And we have lift off. plus 40 seconds into liftoff. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Pad 40 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, carrying our Starlink payload out into space. Now, we just throttled down the engines in preparation for Max-Q, which stands for Maximum Aerodynamic Pressure. This is the largest structural load that the vehicle will see throughout ascent. Should be coming up on Max-Q in a few seconds here. Stage one landing burn. There's confirmation, stage one landing burn. You can kind of see that burn kind of shaking the camera there. Stage one landing leg deploy.
Siku. Stage one landing. <laughs> and we had a little bit of a rough camera view there, but the Falcon has landed on our drone ship for its third landing on Just Read the Instructions. This marks our 63rd successful recovery of a Falcon first stage and the 11th for Just Read the Instructions. <laughs> and battery discharge nominal. And there goes Electron for our 15th launch from Rocket Lab Launch Complex 1 in New Zealand, where T plus 50 seconds and Electron is approaching max Q, or maximum the aerodynamic pressure, the moment during its ascent when the forces Everyone. against the vehicle are at their strongest. Clear at maximum dynamic pressure. Chevron 2. And your Chevron 3. T minus 15 seconds. Falcon 9 configured for flight. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. Lift off. Go Falcon, go GPS. Pitching downrange. Stage one propulsion is nominal. Thirty seconds into flight, propulsion says the Merlin 1D engines are nominal. We're on trajectory and preparing to throttle down in preparation for maximum dynamic pressure. And we're heading into the throttle bucket as we power down the Merlin engines. And throttling back up now. And when the engine's back up at full power. And we have gone past Mach 1.
9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 0 Ignition You have just launched a majestic lift off of PSLV C49 carrying EOS 01 with nine co-passenger satellites, and the range operations director has confirmed the lift off and that the and that the performance of PS1 is normal. जी हाँ अभी आपने देखा Minus ten, ten nine, 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 eight, eight seven, seven, six, six five, five, four, three. Atlas ignition. Two, one, zero, and lift off. Lift off to the Atlas NRL 101 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office. You are hearing the voice of Rob Kesselman providing a launch vehicle ascent data. Ready, one eighty, hit on it. Close loop engine control. Alice has now completed its pre-programmed pitch-over maneuver. Now at 28 seconds into flight, Alice is two miles in altitude, going at 1,200 miles per hour. Party 180 has throttled down slightly as expected. Engine response looks good. Party 180 mark past mark one. Engine pump speeds and injector pressure are in family for this level. SRPs look good. Party 180 has throttled back up as planned. Mach two. T-minus 15 seconds. Okay, nine is configured for flight. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Liftoff. And resilience rises. Not even gravity contains humanity when we explore as one for all. And one propulsion is nominal. That's the word we want to hear. Stage one propulsion is nominal. Dragon and Falcon 9. Stage 1 is preparing to throttle down. This is in preparation for max Q, which is maximum aerodynamic pressure. Stage 1, throttle down. There's that call out for throttle down. Power and telemetry continue to be nominal for the vehicle, now traveling at 262 meters per second. Falcon 9 is supersonic. Uh, the Falcon 9 is supersonic, and we will be passing through Max Q here shortly, the largest structural load during ascent. Max Q. And there's that call out. That Falcon has passed through stage Max one Q. Bravo. One Bravo. And we've Roger, just one entered Bravo. stage one Bravo abort mode. That's going to take them through the end of the first stage burning just before second stage activates off the coast of North Carolina. Tous les paramètres à 
acquisition de la télémesure pour la station de Saint-Jean. And they are off. Seosad Ingenio and Taranis are on their way. Vega flight number 17 is blazing a trail towards space over the night skies of the Amazon rainforest. And the range of T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Entering stage one, burnout detect mode. And we have liftoff of Electron from Rocket Lab Launch Complex One. We're just 50 seconds into flight, and you heard the call out on comms there that mission, the mission is continuing normally. So Electron will approach max Q along its trajectory, otherwise known as maximum aerodynamic pressure. 10, 9, nine 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And liftoff of Sentinel-6, Michael Freilich, continuing a legacy of ocean observation and international collaboration to benefit all humanity. M1D propulsion is nominal. Vehicles 
pitching downrange. M1D chamber pressure is on. Forty seconds into flight, Falcon 9 successfully lifting off from Pad 40 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, nominal. carrying those 60 Starlink satellites into orbit, this particular booster lighting up the Florida coast for a seventh time. Now, uh, we just began throttling down those Merlin 1D engines for maximum dynamic pressure, or max Q. That's the point when the stresses on the vehicle are the highest from the combination of the vehicle speed and the density of the atmosphere. into the clouds and out of the clouds and you can still see the fire and you saw those fine shots uh, always impressive
T plus, 50 seconds into flight. Falcon 9 is carrying our upgraded Dragon vehicle uh, to low Earth orbit. And if you... Minus 10, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, main engine ignition, three, two, one, zero, and liftoff. Liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV heavy rocket carrying the NRL 44 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office. On all three RCA engines look good in full press mode. Now 15 seconds into flight, able to begin the pitch over maneuver. Body range response is good. You are hearing the voice of Patrick Moore providing launch vehicle assets data. 25 seconds into flight, engine operating parameters continue to look good. Body rate response look good. Now 30 seconds in. Standing by for four booster throttle down momentarily. And core booster has begun throttling down as expected to partial thrust level. Engine response looks good. Core booster has achieved partial thrust level as expected. Now 50 seconds into flight. Engine operating parameters continue to look good on all three engines. Now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. And we have liftoff. Stage one propulsion nominal. Vehicles pitching downrange. We're now 30 seconds into flight and Falcon 9 is preparing to pass through max Q, which will happen at T plus one minute and 12 seconds. 
For those of you that might be unfamiliar with this turn, max Q is when the vehicle will experience the greatest amount of dynamic greatest amount of dynamic pressure. Call out there that everything is looking nominal for first stage. To prepare for max Q, we throttle the engines down and then back up about 20 seconds later. And this helps ensure that we keep those dynamic pressures below a certain level. Falcon 9 is supersonic. So there we heard the call out that the vehicle is now going faster than the speed of sound. Touch burnout detect mode. Electron has successfully cleared the pad at Launch Complex 1 and is on its way to orbit. We're at T plus 50 seconds into flight, and we're quickly approaching max Q or maximum aerodynamic pressure, and that's the moment in Electron's ascent when the pressures on the vehicle are at their peak. We'll be coming up on max Q in around 10 seconds or so. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Safalta Poon, left off. PSLV C fifty, Apne Nerdesh mission ki or Barta hua. That's a marvelous lift off. The PS1 performance is according to the expectations. गर्जना करता हुआ आकाश में इसका कंपन हम यहाँ में यहाँ तक महसूस कर सकते हैं। ये सभी दर्शकों के लिए भी काफी उत्साह कपल। स्टेज परफॉर्मेंस नॉर्मल। आरओडी के 
घोषणा के अनुसार प्रथम चरण का निष्पादन सामान्य स्ट्रैप ऑन इग्निशन शेड्यूल ट्वेंटी फाइव सेकेंड इन टू द फ्लाइट इट्स क्लोज टू वन मिनट आफ्टर द फ्लाइट मेन ऑटो मिनट सात टू मेन ऑटो अब हम स्टेप ऑन वन और टू के सेपरेशन को एक मिनट नौ सेकेंड पे प्रमोशुटचना ग्लावना पदियों प्रशोल कंटैक्ट पदियों में двигатели центрального и боковых блоков вышли на режим главной ступени 10 секунд параметры системы управления ракеты носителя в норме 20 секунд двигатели первой и второй ступени работают нормально 30 секунд параметры конструкции ракеты носителя в норме Стабилизация изделия устойчивая. Пятьдесят секунд. Давление в камерах сгорания двигателей ракеты носителя в норме. Шестьдесят секунд. Полет нормальный. Семьдесят секунд. Параметры системы управления ракеты носителя в норме. We are T plus 40 seconds into flight. That is a gorgeous shot of Falcon 9. Uh, we are in the middle of the NRL 108 mission. Falcon 9 is currently throttling down to prepare for max Q at T plus 1 minute and 12 seconds. Max Q is where the vehicle will experience the highest amount of aerodynamic pressures. Falcon is supersonic. Maximum aerodynamic pressure. And we've passed max Q. All is
Eh bien, nos caméras arrivent encore à suivre Soyuz. You see, our still tracking the Soyuz uh, launcher beyond the clouds canopy uh, with its engine. So can we describe in detail this atmospheric phase of the launch? Yes, the um, atmospheric flight uh, sequence is a uh, flight phase who's said to be quite uh, set and doesn't change from flight to flight. The objective is really to guarantee the structural um, positions of the launcher with the uh, nil angle of attack here, yeah, nil inclination, and the, the monitoring of the, this whole flight. Is